Do you desire to learn of the Enkindlers? Or has the Honorable CSEC officer enlisted assistance? Is this really how you want to represent the Enkindlers? The truth of the Enkindlers must be made known. They gave the Hanar language and gave the universe the mass relays. This one only wishes to spread the truth to any who will listen. There is no intent to cause trouble. Is this how the Enkindlers would want you to use this gift of consciousness? The Enkindlers would wish for their message to be spread to all sentient races. The Enkindlers wouldn't wish their message to be spread by breaking society's laws. This one hears wisdom. Perhaps enthusiasm has clouded judgment in this matter. This one departs now and will not intrude upon the Presidium again. I see the Hanar is left. Thank you. Happy to help. Here, for your assistance in this matter. Now, if you'll excuse me, I should report to my superiors. So, Williams, are you happy you signed on with Commander Shepard? I'm not sure, Lieutenant. Every time I think I have a handle on things, the universe banks hard to port. Well, don't let anybody know. A big gun and a confident attitude will get you through a lot in life. Sec, looking you up. Commander Shepard here with the Alliance military. First time on the Citadel, that about right? How did you know all that? I'm the CSEC requisitions officer. I need to make sure our buyers are authorized. So, will you be purchasing anything today, Commander? Show me what you've got. Excellent. I hope you find what you're looking for. A Solarian excavation team has run into an unexpected problem after unearthing a Prothean dig site. Hanar protesters have blockaded the dig site, claiming that artifacts of the Enkindlers, as the Hanar call them, should not be disturbed. The excavation team has appealed to Hanar representatives on the Citadel to reach a diplomatic solution. Hey, I know you. You're Shepard, right? I was on Mindwar during the Blitz, saw you on the vids when you got your medal. You saved the whole colony. Looks like you have a fan. I'm sorry, I just never thought I'd meet someone like you in person. Uh, my name's Lang, Officer Eddie Lang, Citadel Security. It's an honor to meet you, Commander. What are you doing down here in the wards? Anything I can help you with? Why'd you join Citadel Security? I don't know. Seemed like the right thing to do, you know? Maybe it's in my blood. My grandfather was a cop back on Earth. It's kind of what CSEC is, police for the Citadel. I'm still pretty new at it, but I like it so far. Way more interesting than staying back on Earth. You get to meet all kinds of cool aliens, like those Hanar. Wild. Plus, CSEC gets a lot of respect here. 
We uphold the law. People, even aliens, appreciate that. How do you like working here on the Citadel? This place is amazing. I've been here almost a year, and I still haven't seen a tenth of it. The Presidium's just so beautiful. Good place to go and relax. But I really like it here down in the wards. There's always something going on somewhere. Like that new club they just opened a few months ago, Flux. Wicked scene in there, Commander. You should check it out when you have some time. What do you know about the Spectres? Just the stuff they show in the vids. They always make them out to be super agents on secret missions to save the galaxy. I know it's not really like that, though. Some of the other CSEC guys don't like them too much, figure they shouldn't be able to operate outside the law. But if they were so bad, the Council wouldn't use them, right? Do you know a CSEC officer named Harkin? I shouldn't really say too much. He's been on the Force a lot longer than me. But I've heard things, you know? Drinking on the job, taking bribes, that kind of thing. Rumors mostly, but they suspended him, so some of it must be true. I have to go. Right. You're probably real busy. Well, see you around, Commander. I didn't tell anyone, I swear! That was smart, Doc. Now if Garrus comes around, you stay smart. Keep your mouth shut or we'll... Who are you? Let her go! Perfect timing, Shepard. Gave me a clear shot at that bastard. What were you thinking? You could have hit the hostage. There wasn't time to think. I just reacted. I didn't mean to... Dr. Michelle, are you hurt? No, I'm okay. Thanks to you. All of you. I know those men threatened you. But if you tell us who they work for, we can protect you. They work for Feast. They wanted to shut me up. Keep me from telling Garrus about the Quarian. Does this have anything to do with the investigation into Saren? I think it might. Dr. Michelle, tell us what happened. A few days ago, a Quarian came by my office. She'd been shot, but she wouldn't tell me who did it. I could tell she was scared, probably on the run. She asked me about the Shadow Broker. She wanted to trade information in exchange for a safe place to hide. Where is she now? I put her in contact with Fist. He's an agent for the Shadow Broker. Not anymore. Now he works for Saren. And the Shadow Broker isn't too happy about it. Fist betrayed the Shadow Broker? That's stupid even for him. Saren must have made him quite the offer. The Quarian must have something Saren wants. Something worth crossing the Shadow Broker to get. What else can you tell me about the Quarian? I'm not sure. Like I said, she wanted to trade information for a place to hide. She didn't... Wait a minute. Geth. Her information had something to do with the Geth. She must be able to link Saren to the Geth. There is no way the Council can ignore this. Time we paid Fist a visit. This is your show, Shepard. But I want to bring Saren down as much as you do. I'm coming with you. You're a Turian. Why do you want to bring him down? I couldn't find the proof I needed in my investigation, but I knew what was really going on. Saren is a traitor to the Council, and a disgrace to my people. Welcome aboard, Garrus. You know, we aren't the only ones going after Fist. The Shadow Broker hired a Krogan bounty hunter named Rex to take him out. Yeah, we saw him in the bar. 
A Krogan might come in handy. Last I heard, he was at the CSEC Academy. What's he doing there? Fist accused him of making threats. We brought Rex in for a little talk. If you hurry, you can catch him at the Academy before he leaves. Move out. I never properly thanked you for saving me from Fist's thugs, Commander. I don't know what would have happened if you hadn't been there. I'm just glad you weren't hurt. Me too. Now, You're a doctor. Even... How did you end up here on the Citadel? My parents brought me here when I was young. My father was a medic with the Alliance. I chose to keep the medical tradition alive, but not the military. Fixing up wounded soldiers isn't my idea of fun. Let me take a look at what you have for sale. Of course. Binary Helix has settled out of court with a Krogan group that had accused the Genetics Corporation of fraud. The Krogan group had contracted Binary Helix to perform studies with a long-range goal of curing their genetic sterilization. The group later sued for a return of investment money when the study produced no viable results. Witnesses saw you making threats in Fist's bar. Stay away from him. I don't take orders from you. This is your only warning, Rex. You should warn Fist. I will kill him. You want me to arrest you? I want you to try. Go on. Get out of here. Do I know you, human? My name's Shepard. I'm going after Fist. Thought you might want to come along. <sighs> Shepard. Commander Shepard. I've heard a lot about you. We're both warriors, Shepard. Out of respect, I'll give you a fair warning. I'm going to kill Fist. Fist knows you're coming. We'll have a better chance if we all work together. My people have a saying. Seek the enemy of your enemy, and you will find a friend. Glad to have you on the team, Rex. Let's go. I hate to keep Fist waiting. Okay, Jaleed. Let me get this straight. Your business partner, Shorman, he's threatened you? Well, no, uh, not exactly, but he... Hey there! Oh, you're not CSEC, are you? Did you want something? What were you trying to explain to the officer before? My colleague is trying to kill me, and I thought we were friends. How do you know he wants you dead? He's changed. He won't talk to me at work anymore, and he started following me. Yesterday, he followed me all the way home, just waiting for a chance. I don't care what anyone thinks. He wants me gone. I know it. Is there something I can do? Talk to your friend, maybe? Would you? That's all I want. Someone to talk to him. Tell him to leave me alone. He thinks he can just push me around, but you'll show him, won't you? Just tell me where he is, and I'll go find him. Oh, right. Well, he wanted to meet with me down in the wards near the markets. He said he just wanted to talk, but I know better. His name's Shorban. He's a Salarian. You shouldn't have any trouble. He's just a scientist. Shorban. 
That's the guy who wanted us to scam the Keepers. The Keepers? Well, even more reason to go after him. That's against regulations. I better look into this right away. Find out what he's up to. Anything's possible with Shorbin these days. Well, good luck! Hello, Commander. Commander, I wasn't expecting to see you again. Is there something you want? You can start by telling me the truth, Shorbin. I'm not sure what you're referring to. My experiments are... We're not buying it. Jaleed told us you've been after him. You... spoke with Jaleed? Then you know about the data? No, but you're gonna tell me. Everything. You boys can go. Looks like my plans have changed. It's not as bad as you think, Commander. Jaleed and I just got a little... over our heads. Keep talking. The company we work for developed an experimental procedure for use in medical scanners. Jaleed and I saw even more potential, so we stole the plans and secretly developed a tool to scan the Keepers. Can you imagine? A tool that can actually get readings from the Keepers? What's so special about that? The Keepers are almost impossible to scan, and you can't capture them or get samples. They just self-destruct. After centuries here, we still don't know anything about them. Don't you see? We were the first to scan them, ever. You've seen it yourself, Commander. You know we can do it. Why are you trying to kill your partner? I'm not trying to kill him. Jaleed's job was to disseminate our initial findings. But he decided to keep the data for himself. Maybe to sell it. I don't know. So you're just trying to get back what Jaleed already stole. We lost our heads. We just couldn't let an opportunity like this pass us by. Commander, if you'll just continue gathering data for me, imagine what we might learn. And you'll stand to make a bit of a profit yourself, remember? I suppose a little scanning here and there won't hurt anyone. Very good. Maybe if you wouldn't mind speaking with Jaleed. The data you're gathering for me is useless if Jaleed won't help me analyze it. I'll go have a chat with him right now. Thank you, and happy scanning, Commander.
Hello again. Did you have any luck finding short? I found out you've been lying to me, Jaleed. Lying? Why would I lie to you? You forgot to mention the data about the Keeper. Uh, he told you? I didn't mean for any of this to happen. I was afraid Shorbin would kill me to get the data, so I... Well, I was hoping you'd take care of him. I'm scanning the Keepers for Shorbin, but you two need to stop fighting. You're... you're helping us? But... well, if you say so. Well, if Shorbin can forgive and forget, then so can I. I appreciate the help, Commander. I better go get that data analyzed. Detective Chellick, come into my office. Oh, no offense, Commander, but what the hell were you thinking? I don't follow you. You could have blown Jenna's cover. We were trying to help her. I gathered that. It might seem cold letting her take all the risk, but we're keeping a close eye on her. Do you really need to risk her life to get the information you want? This job isn't easy and it's usually unpleasant. I'll take help anywhere I can find it. But since you're so concerned with her safety, maybe there's a way we can help each other. It's nice to see you're still working all the angles, Chellick. As part of the job. Now are you gonna help me or not? You're a smart guy, Chellick. Figure out another way. I do have several contingencies. She's just my option A. I'll cut her loose, even get her out of Kor's den, no strings attached. But that still leaves my case unsolved. I could still use your help. I'll help you, but I need some details. I'm trying to track down an illegal arms producer. I just need some of their product. Thanks to Jenna's intel, I've learned there's a seller here on the Citadel. Meet our man named Jax. Pick up the mods and bring them back here. That'll give me everything I need. Why are you so concerned about these mods? We have access to some of the most sophisticated weaponry there is. It's what gives us our edge. What do you suppose happens when we lose that edge? These give criminals an advantage we can't afford to let them keep. I'll persuade Jax to tell me where these mods are coming from. No. You tip Jax off, and all my leads will disappear faster than you can say bad bust. Where can I find this, Jax? Jax is down in the lower level of the markets. I'll send word through our channels that you're the buyer. Good luck, Commander. Hold it. That's close enough, Army. You got my payment? Do you have the X-Mods? Show them the merchandise. Looks good. Damn straight it is. These mods are the best on the market. Now hand over my credits. Here you go. Here you go. Enjoy it. Come on, boys. We're done here. vendors who operate out of the markets here. Sometimes they have good stuff for sale. Commander, I hear you have something for me. 
Here's your shipment, Chellik. Excellent. This is everything I need. Huh. Maybe more than I need. Here, Commander, take this. I won't need it, and you've earned some payment for your work. I appreciate your help. It shows a lot of integrity. You didn't need to do anything after I let Jenna go. Now I need to get these mods into evidence. Thanks again, Shepard. Yeah, what is it? Why were you tossed out of there? Doran didn't have a clue what I was doing. He, he assumed I was cheating. I know Doran. If he says you're cheating, you're cheating. I was just tipping the scales in my favor, only as an experiment. It still sounds like cheating to me. To you, maybe. But this device is merely intended to simulate situations and record results. Recording losses is easy, of course. Nobody notices those. Why do you need to record these outcomes? Ah, now you're getting to the heart of it. I've spent the last five years developing a system that can accurately predict wins and losses on the Quasar. I just need a few more recorded wins and I can complete the algorithms. Can you do that? Isn't that illegal? It's illegal to use my system, but I won't use it. I'll sell it to others. I just need a few more wins recorded. Does the device help me win? The device is set to emit a frequency that will slightly increase your odds. Nothing like my system eventually will, but enough to allow you to record your wins more quickly. I'll help you out. Ah. I suppose I could let you try it. Here you go. When you've recorded enough wins, it'll let you know. Of course, if you get caught with the device, well, you saw what happened to me. Well, off you go. That data won't collect itself. Not what I heard. And what did you hear exactly? More rumors about strange metal creatures with real AI. Hey, Jenna came back looking for work. Thanks for getting her out of Cora's den. I was glad to help out. Yeah, everyone seems real happy to have her back. They should be. Aren't you? I'm glad she's out of the den. I'd just forgotten what it was like to have her around. I haven't had a decent tip since she got back. Hey there, welcome to Flux. Welcome to Flux. Name's Doran. Goodbye. Enjoy your time here at Flux. Hello again. Can I've I I've got help? something you might be interested in. Let me see that. You got that from Shells, didn't you? I saw him using it earlier. Tossed him out on his ass for it, too. Uh, thanks for bringing this to me. Cheaters shouldn't prosper. I agree with you on that. Thanks again. Uh, take a few shots at the Quasar. On the house. Is this a casino? Among other things, yes. We've got some Quasar stations, uh, if you're interested. Are you the owner? Owner, cook, and bartender. I've even been known to dance a little when the mood strikes me. We've got some Quasar stations. Goodbye. Uh, enjoy your time here at Flux.